Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is all about English country style chic. If you're not quite sure what that is, the Duchess of Cambridge, she does it beautifully. It's a very classy, casual country style that's becoming really popular now, possibly due to all the lockdowns and people are out and about walking and exercising and wanting to look chic while they do it. So in today's video, I've got five classy outfits to show you and I'm gonna show you how you can get each look. Let's get into the video. As I mentioned in the intro, the Duchess of Cambridge does country style chic so well. So I'm going to start with one of her looks. If you wanted to try the English country style look, this is a great way to start. It's not too full on and can ease you into it gently. It's hard to tell actually if she's wearing black jeans or leggings, but either would be fine if you wanted to recreate the look. It's a loose fitting long line black roll neck jumper, some riding boots and a wax jacket. Both of these two items are a must have in your wardrobe if you want to do the English country style look. These boots are Penelope Chilvers. They're gorgeous, but as you can expect, they're at the higher price end, coming in at around £500. You can get some similar ones at different price points. These are £150, which look very hard wearing, but also stylish. These ones are great for anyone who needs a boot with a wider calf. These are only £32 now. And I also found these, which are £100. Kate quite often wears a wax jacket. I'm not sure, but this one may be from Bar or possibly Dubarry. Not sure actually if it's pronounced Dubarry or Dubarry, but however you pronounce it, they're gorgeous either way. Cotton Traders is quite a good place to shop for more affordable jackets. This is £50 now, or M&S have a wax look jacket, which is £60. The Duchess of Cambridge also wears a belted jacket quite often. If you're looking for a reasonably priced jacket, this one I thought looked great. It's £50. It's a lovely, not too country style outfit. The next outfit I wanted to show you is a look that you'd probably think of when you think of English country style and I think it's quite beautiful. The bottom half of this outfit is similar to the first look with black bottoms and brown boots but the upper part of the outfit is smarter and includes some wardrobe essentials for the country chic look of check or tweed blazer and leather or faux leather gloves. I love this look. Holland Cooper have a very nice country collection and a nice range of blazers, but they're not cheap. Marks and Spencers have a nice one and it's a great price, it's £63. And I found this one, which comes in at £169, that sort of mid-range price. Added to the outfit is a check scarf, black leather gloves, white shirt and a hat. The whole look pieced together is a really aspirational country chic look. This next outfit is a variation on the previous one, but it's less formal. It's a nice dog walking outfit, I'd say. Two more items that are a must have wardrobe essential for a country chic look are a gilet and Wellington boots. Two designer style Wellington boots are Hunter and Le Chamou if you want to splash out, but there's welly boots out there for every kind of budget. These are just some that I found. A bit like welly boots, padded gilets can also be found quite easily. I quite like jewels for, for good quality, reasonably priced ones. This outfit is predominantly green. Boots, jacket and undershirt all work as one and the check scarf ties it all together with some coordinating gloves. It's a lovely, casual country look. A tweed or a check blazer is a wardrobe essential if you want to pull off the English country style chic look, but a cape is a very nice alternative. This is a modern take on country chic and a nice way to try it, I think. The cape in the picture is from Holland Cooper again. It's beautiful, but expensive and it's paired with a colour coordinated roll neck, blue jeans and a hat. These hats are so popular right now. I like them with this look, but I've never actually been a big fan of them. I always find the brim are just a little bit out of proportion, but that's just a me thing. This look definitely has a more smarter vibe to it, but would make a fancy walking outfit if you feel the need to dress up a bit. For the fifth look, I wanted to show you another of the Duchess of Cambridge's country outfits. It combines lots of the elements of previous outfits, but it's got a feminine twist. The noticeable difference to this outfit is the style of the boots and the ruffle shirt. The basics underneath are just black jeans, 
a cosy knit and a wax jacket. Having a robust pair of hiking or walking boots is a great addition to your wardrobe and they could be worn less country chic if that's not your style. Ruffles also aren't for everyone I know but I thought it was a nice twist to the style. The little bit of white ruffle poking out from under the sweater really adds a lovely touch and it breaks up quite a muted colour scheme. It could be a new way to style an old outfit. I'd love to know what you think of this style. Do you think it looks quite beautiful or a little bit frumpy? Do let me know in the comments box below. Bye for now.